Our top story this morning, multiple media outlets are reporting that a special train believed to be carrying a high-ranking North Korean official left the Chinese capital on Tuesday to return to Pyongyang. And speculations is building that that high-ranking official may be North Korean leader Kim Jong-un himself. For more, we connect live to our Kim Hyo-sun, who is standing by on the line for us. Hyo-sun, fill us the details. Hi, Sam. In the specially built green train similar to the one former North Korean leader Kim Jong-il used when he, when he visited China back in 2011, departed Beijing and is heading back to Pyongyang. It's believed that the train is currently passing the China-North Korea border city of Tandong en route to Pyongyang as heavy security was witnessed in parts of the city late Tuesday. While some reports say it was North Korean leader Kim Jong-un who used the train to visit Beijing ahead of his scheduled visits, uh, summits with South Korean President Moon Jae-in and U.S. President Donald Trump, nothing has been verified as of now. And sources in Beijing say that the train believed to be carrying a senior North Korean delegation was spotted at Tandong on Sunday and arrived at Beijing Station on Monday afternoon. The Hong Kong-based South China Morning Post reports Kim Jong-un was on the train that left Beijing and that he met with Chinese President Xi Jinping for approximately three hours. Japan's Sankei Shinbun also reported that it was indeed the North Korean leader, quoting an unnamed Chinese Communist Party official, while Bloomberg also reported that Kim was in Beijing. And also given the fact that there was ultra-tight security in the Chinese capital, while a North Korean embassy vehicle was also spotted in front of the Great Hall of the People, Media outlets say it's highly likely Kim Jong-un was there rather than other senior officials, including his younger sister, Kim Yo-jong. Amid such speculation, however, uh, both Pyongyang and Beijing are staying tight-lipped about the visit. China's foreign ministry is refusing to comment, adding that if it has anything to announce, it will happen at an appro- appropriate time. Uh, meanwhile, U.S. Defense Secretary James Mattis has told reporters at the Pentagon that it looks like Kim Jong-un went to Beijing, but he didn't elaborate on why he assumed that. According to Reuters, a senior U.S. official who follows North Korea closely said the available evidence suggests Kim went to, Be- uh, went to meet Xi uh, in Beijing, but stressed that the U.S. doesn't know for sure. Back to you, Semin.